still today, people call me names. People call me fag. People call me a fairy. People call me a queen. Um, I'm gay, and it took a long time to get used to that. But um, middle school, high school were definitely the hardest, hardest parts of that whole experience. Um, I came out when I was a sophomore, and it wasn't easy. I started telling one person, then another person, then my mom, then then people would ask, and I would say, yes, yes, oh. Um, but yeah, I have horror stories. I mean, gym class, I think I'd still to this day rather get all of my nails pulled out from the bed than ever, ever have to change in the boys' locker room again. But people grow up, and I got a better sense of myself and more confident in the things I believed in, and um, things get way better. Things get so much better. I just really want to encourage you to stick it out. Just be yourself, because it does get better. People will come into your life who love you for who you are, and you know, I've loved watching my friends who struggled so hard with other people growing up turn into the most amazing people with amazing stories and just stronger characters for it. So just stick it out, know that there are people who love you and support you everywhere. And, you know, go get them for yourself. This is a message to anyone out there who may be having a rough time at school, at home, being bullied, being harassed because they are gay. I want to share my story because I was in your shoes. In middle school, in high school, I was always harassed being called the gay kid, the homo, the faggot, because I am a theater nerd. I like to do theater. I like to sing. I like to dance. I like to act. I like to put on a show, and I always have, and it's the only thing I've ever known, and once I got into middle school, when the, you know, the times get tough for everybody, I started getting made fun of all the time just because I like to dance, like to sing, like to act, and... I stopped doing it because I got made fun of and I hated it and I hated not being able to be myself and I hid and I was sad all the time and I was scared because I was afraid of people knowing a deep dark secret that I never wanted to tell anybody in the world and you know I just want to let anyone out there who's feeling the same way that it definitely gets better. In high school I finally came out, I came out to my parents, I came out to my friends and I accepted who I was and I I loved who I was finally. I was happy, finally. And I went ahead and did theater for the rest of high school and now I go to the Boston Conservatory in Boston, Massachusetts for musical theater. It's one of the top uh, musical theater schools in the country and I couldn't be more proud to say that I go there. So my life is so much better now. It's full of happiness, full of joy. I have family who loves me. I have friends that love me. I have a boyfriend that loves me and I'm not afraid to tell anybody that. It does get better, trust me. Um, and whether you're being teased for um, the way that you look, or the way that you dress, or um, your who you are attracted to, your sexual orientation, it doesn't matter. And the people that are that are going to make fun of you for that are just scared themselves. After all that crap, things get so much better. I I remember feeling like nobody would ever understand me and I was so afraid to tell my parents that I was gay and so afraid to tell my friends that I was gay. Um, but when I came to terms with who I was and started loving myself, everybody around me, I was really lucky. I, I was lucky because people accepted me and, and I never thought that my parents would be as, as accepting as they are. I mean, as you get older, even if you have parents that right now you think there are, there's no way that they're going to ever accept you for being gay or being different or anything, um, you'd be surprised. I now, my boyfriend is like, basically my parents love my boyfriend more than they love me. And that's another thing that I'm dealing with now. I hope that gets better. Um, but honestly, things get so much better. And please stick around and stick through all the tears and all the, all the bullshit in, in middle school and high school because 
things are going to get so much better. You're going to go to college and things are going to get better. You're going to graduate college and things are going to get even better. And you promise you, if you just stick, stick it out, you are going to have such a beautiful, beautiful, amazing life full of love and full of everything that you would you would ever want and you're gonna have every opportunity that a heterosexual person will have so just know it gets better when i was younger i always knew there was something different about me that separated me from all of my other friends and it wasn't until i got a little older and realized that i was gay that i figured out what it was and unfortunately um these differences caused me to lose a lot of my friends um, when I was in middle school and it was a really rough time and it was a really rough time for a while um, but fortunately after joining Stoneham Theatre I, uh, I found wonderful wonderful friends who love me for exactly who I am they don't care if I'm gay they don't care if I'm straight they just support me and they are always, always there for me. And it really does get better. It really does get better. Guess what? You are an unbelievable person and just because you might not think that that's true right now, um, it gets better. And I'm living proof as a straight ally and as someone who was picked on for a lot of things, um, it gets better you'll start feeling better once you start accepting who you are and being proud of who you are and showing other people why you're so awesome. I was a disgusting, awkward, pimply mess in middle school and high school. And believe me, it gets better. Just know that you are loved, no matter who you are, and that you were put on earth for a reason. I know that someday in our lifetime, there will be equality for everyone. Stay strong. Hang in there find some really great friends or some really great resources and utilize them it's not easy and not everyone's going to understand what you're going through but just know that whoever you are and whatever you do and whatever you like is enough and is good and is great and is special i promise it gets better it gets better it gets better much better like so much better it gets better it really does it gets better it gets better